Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about sickle cell anemia in context to the pregnancy. But before that we need to understand what is the basic pathophysiology behind this sickle cell anemia. Then only we can treat that. So we all know this, that this is a type of hemoglobinopathy and it is hereditary. So it is genetic. The very basic problem here in genes is a point mutation. Point mutation on the second chromosome. Okay. On the second chromosome uh, in beta chain gene where a glutamic acid replaces valine. So valine will go and glutamic, glutamic acid will come in at sixth position so the beta chain will be defected so hemoglobin adult hemoglobin has alpha 2 beta 2 total four chains and those beta chains are defective not normal some amount of uh, knowledge I am going to throw on uh, what is the inheritance for autosomal recessive disorder because this sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disorder so what actually happens uh, here we are saying A means normal or adult and S means sickle so we have two copies of any gene in our chromosomes so this is for example two partners who are going to marry this is a male or this is a female or whatever it can be male female okay the male and female the male is has AS gene means one copy of gene is okay but the second copy of gene has point mutation sickle cell point mutation and the other partner is completely normal both of the copies are normal so if they have a baby and then what are the chances the baby that have uh, this kind of sickle cell hemoglobin sickle cell gene mutation the first chance is of a a that means this child is normal second also is a a that means this child is a normal now s a s a so this both uh, child have are carriers child because they have only one gene and only one uh, copy of gene that is defected so you can see here we have seen probability of four children so 20 uh, 50 percent of the children can be normal but the 50 percent can have one copy of gene that is mutated so they are called carriers and also can uh, can also be called trait so sickle cell trait is not a very big deal it's okay so if some uh, one of the partner or mother or father having a single gene that is mutated then the children have 50 50 percent chance being a carrier now if both partners are carrier for example as as when we say carrier that means this partner is carrying this inheritance this defective inheritance to their children so if this both partners are suppose they are of having a carrier disease trait disease so they have one copy of gene is defected both have one copy of gene is defective so as plus as let's see four different possibilities First is AA and these children will be normal and the chances of being a normal child will be 25%. Second one is 
A S N A S. So this A S A S childrens are carrier, as we know this thing, and these have and they have fifty percent chances of becoming a carrier. And A S A S S S. So this child have both copies of gene that is mutated. So this child will have a disease. and the chances of being a defective child defect diseased child is of 25% so when the both partners are carrier then we need a preconceptional counseling for the patient that yes you can have one def- 25% of possibility of having defective child okay full blown diseased child okay so when we uh, screen a partner and if we find that yes the partner is a carrier then we need to screen the other partner also okay now let's see some some types of hemoglobin <clears throat> hemoglobin f is a fetal hemoglobin fetal hemoglobin has two alpha chain two gamma chains adult hemoglobin has two alpha chains two beta chains hemoglobin s means sickle cell hemoglobin has two alpha chain and two beta chain but the beta chain will be defected hemoglobin a2 adult that has two alpha chain two delta chain okay so uh, if we say if the uh, if some person is a carrier if some person has a disease if some person has has been a carrier or as then it is called sickle cell trait and if we see into them 55 to 60% of hemoglobin is of hba that is a normal amount of hemoglobin normal hemoglobin but 35 to 40% has hbs and that is a defective hemoglobin so the rbc because of this hemoglobin is uh, properties of this hemoglobin is not well good the rbc of this kind of uh, person are changes into a sickle cell shape because of the properties of hps and this sickle cell they become rigid and they can anywhere block the circulation they can be lysed their life span is also very less and uh, they can call obstruction and because of obstruction in the blood vessels they can generate a focal small infraction of the tissues uh, which blood vessel they block okay and that's why the decrease oxygenation will be there so this is a sickle cell crisis sickle cell crisis happens because of obstruction of small blood vessels because of this sickle cell rbc if we talk about <clears throat> sickle cell disease then we we will get no amount of hemoglobin a that is adult hemoglobin normal hemoglobin but on we will only have hbf and hba2 because beta chains are defective we don't have beta chains at all so hbf will have uh, some amount of hbf and hba2 will be there baki all amount of hbs will be there okay so okay we'll proceed further with this thing now let's see what is the pregnancy point of view whenever you, uh, whenever you see a patient in pregnancy if you find that yes the hemoglobin level is not that well and the patient is of anemic hb level is less than 11 g you need to screen that lady how will you screen that lady you will do electrophoresis hb electrophoresis and for that thing you will get the hba2 level hba level hbs and hbf level if hbf level is hbs level is high that means sickle cell hemoglobin is high then you need to also uh, screen the partner okay if the pound carrier has hb ever a2 is increased and hbs hbs is there you need to screen the partner if this partner is also having this kind of problem then you need to uh, make them understand that yes your baby have 25% of chance of having full blown hpss and that this is a life threatening disease so prenatal counseling is must 
what is the treatment treatment has uh, <coughs> generally has no any problem because uh, uh, generally we find carrier patients generally we will find a carrier patient and for that patient we say we have to supply the folic acid 5 mg daily we have to give prophylactic antibiotic that is penicillin we have to be blood uh, hb level more than 11 g so hb level should not decrease in this patient so we can give prophylactic blood transfusions even postnatal thromboprophylaxis should be given because pregnancy is already a hypercoagulable state and this sickle cell increases the chances of coagulation so this is how we see a sickle cell disease in pregnancy